Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at how we can use a Power App to upload a document to Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. So we're going to create a Canvas app that's going to that's going to invoke a, a flow that's going to upload a file into Dynamics and Operations or Finance and Operations. Sorry, um, today. All right. So let's take a look at what we're going to do here. So this is the Finance and Operations screen. Um, the customer we are going to be using is this uh, cave hole. So let me just get out of here so I can show you what I'm what I'm doing here. So um, if we go back to um, accounts receivable, all customers here, and then we can pull up uh, cave wholesale and take a look at their attachments there. So we have cave wholesales there. If we go in and uh, click on that to open there, uh, we can hit the paperclip. And if we wanted to upload a, a file from here, you know, it's fairly simple. We would do new file. Um, go ahead and browse that, and then we'll use this test file today for our, our tests there, and that'll upload there and give us a description. So basically, this is the same functionality we want to emulate in a Power App. So if you've got a, an app that your uh, salespeople are going out to customers and they want to get documents from or whatever and upload them against their account, uh, this is the kind of thing that you'd, you'd want to do. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, delete this out because this is, will be the one we're using and let's head over to uh, Power Apps. And I'm starting with a Canvas app here. I've, I've added a couple of fields for us just to kind of save a little time here. But this, I mean, you've seen uh, me up, you know, create Power Apps before. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and link a, a video here, one of my earlier videos on Power Apps, so you can kind of see how it's done. But pretty simple, just drag and drop some fields in here. And these are kind of the required fields that we're going to need. Now, one thing that's not here is my attachments here. And you can, uh, there is an image attachment in the Canvas apps, but unfortunately it only does images. It doesn't do documents. So I want to be able to do documents and images. So there's a little hack that we can do. And what I've done is, um, let me go ahead and go back over to the, the main page here. And if we go under data and tables, let me uh, switch this to all. And I've created a table for us called test. And you can do the same thing here. It called it test. Um, if we go into the settings, you just want to make sure that uh, you've enabled the entity for attachments there. So that, that way we're going to be able to get to our attachment control. Um, this will make a little more sense in a minute. I know this is kind of weird here for right now, but um, it will make more sense in a second. So what I'm going to do here is I could do it on this same screen. I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to create another screen just and I'm just trying to get the attachment control just so you understand what I'm trying to do here. Um, so let's go ahead and on the second screen, we're going to go in and we're going to go to their insert, form, and edit. And the data that we're going to use is we're going to use that uh, test uh, table. And that'll create a form there for us. The important part here is we're going to go ahead and click edit. And then we want to um, add a field. And then we want to add this attachment fields. And here's the attachment control I was talking about that we want on our other form. So the cool thing is that you can uh, copy attack controls from form to form. So what we're going to do is we're just going to highlight that thing. We're going to right click. We're going to do a copy. And then we're going to go over to our other screen. And then we're going to go and paste it there. All right. So let me size that up for us. And I'll show you what this does in a second. And then for this point, we really don't need this other screen. So I'm going to delete that out there. Now what I am going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and rename this. I'm going to call this um, attachments. It's just so I can reference it easy. Um, and then, so it's got a couple of errors here. So let's roll through and see what those are. It's basically, okay, so border color. I don't really care about that right now. And these, these are things that you can set if you want to, but I'm going to get rid of them. Border color, still got an error. Let's go back, uh, parent display mode. Um, I do want my display mode to be, so let's do this, uh, display mode. We want to be that to be edit. Here we go. And then let's see what else we got here. Parent items, we can clear that out. We don't need the items. And let's see what else we have. Display name on the tooltip, we can get rid of that as well. All right, so that clears up our errors. Another thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need a button. So let me go ahead and put a button on there. I'll slide it over here and I'm gonna call that upload. So let me change the name of that from button to upload. All right, um, okay. So we've got our button here, all right? And then, so one other thing we're gonna need uh, is, actually before I do that, let me just show you how this, uh, this, this works here. So if we go in and press play on here, this uh, attachment control, all we do is go and click on attach file, we get a, a file picker, 
I'll pick my file and click open, right? And that's gonna, gonna store it in there. Now what we wanna do, we, we can't really, or I've not found a great way to reference this file right from here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this into an image control and then do some manipulation from there. So let me close this out and um, let's go ahead and we'll add an image here. And then the way we reference this, so this is gonna be attachments. So this that image control is a attachments and then it's going to be called uh, and sorry excuse me let me back up one second the the other thing that this can do this can add multiple attachments but for our example here i only want to reference the last attachment added so what i'm going to do is i'm going to type in last and then it's attachments that's what i named it and then it's going to be called attachments and then we want the last um value okay and that's that's going to be our our image control there. Now, so we've, we've got this, this file attachment stored in this image control, and we'll probably make, we'll make this image control uh, empty in case you are uploading, or not visible, I should say empty, not visible, um, in case you, you are loading images so they don't show here, you should make this not visible. Okay, so we've got our image set based on our, on our attachment there, so we've, we've uploaded a file, we're referencing it in our image control. Again, you, you should make that image control not visible. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of different set of different variables with our upload button here. All right. So you could probably do this all in one set statement or one one variable statement, but I'm going to try and break it up here to make it a little more clear than it is. But um, so let's go over here to our upload button. And so what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set a variable and I'm going to call that variable temp file. All right. And then what I want that to be, I'm going to convert that uh, that image to JSON, so I'm gonna put JSON as the command, and then it's gonna be image three dot image. And then I do want to uh, include binary data and do that. I'll close that JSON out, and then I'll close out that variable set, and I'll in that with semicolon, I'm gonna add some other stuff to this in a minute. All right, so to show you what that's gonna do, let me go ahead and add a label here for us. Um, We'll slide that down. I'll put it right here. And let's let's just put, put the output of that uh, temp file there into that, that label box. And let's run this. And we'll just do the upload button again so, so we can get some data in there. And let me expand this out so you can see what it looks like here. All right. So it's a really small file. There's not much data in it. <clears throat> but we have the JSON here. So what we don't want, we don't want this type here so the 64 we only want this this v all the way to the second equal so we don't want the semicolon we want basically from this comma over to this uh to the last equal sign here all right so what i'm going to do here just to save time i've i've, I've kind of pre pre laid out this formula uh, so let me copy this and i'll paste it in so you can take a look at it we'll walk through it so here here i'm going to hit Control v all right, so I'm setting a second variable. Again, you could put this together if you wanted to. I'm just trying to make, do this for clarity. So this file upload variable is going to start in a midpoint. And basically, I'm taking the, the temp file, the, the initial variable, which is this right here, and I'm looking for that comma, and I'm, I'm going one space past it. That's what the plus one is for there. So I'm going to this V. And then what I want to do is I want to get the ending position, which is the, the length of the temp file minus this this beginning part here that we subtracted out minus one and that should give us um, just the JSON part we want. So, so to show that, let me go ahead and click another label in here. Let me make this a little bigger for us. And we're gonna set this, this one to file upload there. Okay, so let me go ahead and run this and we'll hit the upload button and then we'll see that, that there, all right? So now if we take a look, We've got just from the capital V over here to the second equal sign. That's the file, right? So we don't have any of the other extra stuff, right? So now that's a long way around to get that, but um, hey, let me just, uh, I'll hit show you the upload button. If you need this, copy that. If you need it, um, I, it does take a minute to kind of figure that out, all right? So once we have the file content, I'll, I'll leave that down there just, just for our reference. But once we have the file content, now what we need to do is we need to create a flow that's going to upload the file for us, right? 
So what I'm going to do, we'll flip back over to my home page. I'm going to go to flows and let's create a new flow. So we're going to do a new flow. Um, we'll do an automated cloud flow or sorry, let's do a um, instant cloud flow. Sorry. And we're going to call this one, um, create customer upload attachment. Or let's just call it create customer attachment. And this is going to be triggered by a power app. So we'll click on that and then we'll create, click create. And then what we want to do, let's go ahead and we'll do a new step. And the, what we want to use is a dynamics connector, dynamics, FinOps. And we're going to create a record. And then what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to go and grab my URL. So this is my URL. And this is a trial instance. You can use URLs from the trial instance. So you just want to grab the, I'll show you in just a second when I paste it in there. But what you want to do, you know, this is a trial, so I don't have any reference. I'm going to enter a custom value. We'll paste that in there. I just want the, the URL, not the HTTPS, no slashes or anything like that. All right. So what we want is the entity we want to use is customer attachments. And there's product attachments. There's different attachment files you can choose from. So just look for attachments and you should be able to find it. So I'm going to use customer attachments. And sometimes when this first starts off, it takes it a minute to load the load the fields that we can actually uh, use here. So I'm going to pause for just a second and let this, let this screen load up for us. Okay, so it has loaded up for us. So what we want to do here is there's several fields that we're going to grab. And let me go back here to, to reference some here on my, my Power App. So I need company, customer, type, file type, description, and then, then the file here. So we're going to kind of create variables for all those. So we want the account. So we're going to do an ask in Power Apps, the type, see more, ask in Power Apps, company, we'll do see more, ask in Power Apps, and then we need the um, file type, see more, we're going to do ask in Power Apps. And let's go ahead and give it the description. Go to ask in Power Apps. And we need the, let's see if we need anything else here. I think we can do with that. We need file name too. Sorry, I'm thinking what else we need here. We need file name. Let's go grab that. And then we need the actual file. Can do ask and power ups out there. So what that has done for us is created a bunch of variables for us. Let me go ahead and save that. And you could really, I mean, you could do anything you want, but the, these fields pretty much are are mandatory here, the ones we're calling out. All right. All right. So let's we're gonna eventually add that to our, our upload button. But if I go in and hit actions and add the power app to it now, it's gonna clear the other stuff off. So what I generally do. So I create a second button that I'll copy stuff from. So I'm just going to copy, use this one right here for our uh, for our dummy to button here. So I'm going to go to action, then power automate, create customer attachment. It's going to add that for us. I want the account first, and then I want the type, and then I want the company, and then the file type. I'm going to just put a file type. I mean, we'll come back to that one because we need to fill in some data for that one. File type. And then we need a description. So we're going to use the description field for that one. And then let's see, what else do we need here? Description. We need a file name. So we're going to, we're going to get the file name from the attachments control. So we're going to do last attachments dot attachments and then dot name give us that one and then what else do we have we have the name and then file name and then the then the actual file which is going to be our file upload variable that we created there okay and then we can close that off. All right. So this is in our dummy button. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy all of that. Again, I do this just because if I do it on my, my regular button, it's going to wipe out our other work here. 
So I'm going to click down here, I'm going to do a shift and enter, and then I'm going to paste that in there. Okay. All right. So we've got our, our, our upload button is going to trigger our flow. I can get rid of this button here. And so we should just have that. All right. So let's give this a try. Oh, actually, one other thing we need to do. So the file type is going to be like the file extension dot text dot or just the dot txt, not the dot. So I'm going to do this in kind of a quick way, but there's, you probably should do this a little more robust than I'm going to do it. So what I want to do is I just want to get the right um, right three vari three net three letters of the name. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to say uh, right, and then I want the last attachments dot attachments dot name so dot name and then I want the three All right so that's just going to give me the last three so the reason why you probably want to write that a little more robust is if you got more than more than or you've got a two two or one variable extent file extension one uh, link file extension this wouldn't work but for my purposes here this was going to work All right. all right so we got that. All right, so let's go ahead and run this and give this a try. So we'll go ahead and press play. We've already attached our file. Let's go ahead and hit the upload button. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip back over to our flow. I wanna see if it's gonna run correctly. So I'm gonna go back here. It's gonna go in here and it says it's running. Let's see if we get it an error or if it runs. Press this here. Ah, and it succeeded, all right? So let's flip back over to our customer here. So again, we're on our US004. It shows one here, so we click on that. We have our file uploaded. This is our test file. We can open the file here. Get our test, test file. Let me slide this over for us. And there's our file for upload. Okay, so I know this one's a long one. Thank you for bearing with me. Um, that getting the data right for the file upload is a little tricky. If you go back and look at the formulas and how, how they're structured and everything, you should be able to pretty much copy those formulas and, and make this work. So I hope you found some value in this. Again, I know it's long. I know it's though it's kind of, um, kind of a, a lot of stuff here, a lot of moving parts to this one, but um, it is a useful skill to know, understand how to do, okay? So again, if you, if you like this content, please give it a thumbs up or like it. And I put out a video once a week. If you will, subscribe to the channel. That way you get notified when I put an, upload a new video, okay? So again, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found some value in this. Until next time, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.